All right, so we're gonna see where the masculine currently is at in regards, yeah, in regards to the connection. This is a divine masculine. Yeah. You just say the name of your masculine and we'll see what's coming up. We've got union, okay. We've got, uh, there are drastic changes in my life right now. There is a trusting energy that's coming out. My love for you is deeper than the ocean. We have Empress and we have Rebirth. So somebody is definitely going through, um, because of this Divine Feminine's love, this is a second chance. In this connection there is a rebirth that's happening and so there's a lot of trust that's being asked right now from the divine that the old is dying out to bring in love partners okay because both have been going on an inner journey at this time so let's pull some shadows about this masculine this is the overall energy let's see where this masculine is at because there's massive changes that are going on in his life right now dealing with devil energy as we're saying that okay dealing with obsessions addictions really looking at what has kept him stuck in the past wow we've got quite a bit the cards are like <laughs> having a friggin hissy fit over here we have the four of uh pentacles which is the four of serpents in this deck the four of pentacles a lot of um cyclic energies around money being closed off with money um and the ten of pentacles yeah it's about a foundation hanging on to maybe a foundation hanging on to a way of life or I, i'm feeling it's more financial because it is pentacles energy we have the emperor here he is the cosmic mirror that came up in the last read and the two of pentacles so this is not being very balanced in the foundation that they're currently in um there's a lot of destruction that's happening because somebody has revealed something somebody has found out about this divine feminine energy somebody has been um going within about the divine feminine energy and so there is third party involved here but it's almost like the light is being shown to this masculine energy he's had to take like overly controlling energies and he had to be overly controlling he's taking his power back by having to be kind of brute is what i'm saying like really a lot of brutality in order to hang on to um, any finances that he may be losing because if he doesn't um he's not going to be balanced he's not going to be able to move forward and so there's a lot of cathargic i'm hearing cathargic energy which is um, trying to keep him in the shadows. We have the seven of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, he's lose he doesn't want to lose this money because somebody is trying to keep him from starting a new beginning. Exactly what I was feeling with the moon and to keep them in a dark connection. So whoever is with this masculine doesn't care about them. They don't care about their well-being, they don't care about their evolution process. They don't care. Um, and so this is why the masculine is like, wow, this person or these people around me only wanted the investments that I brought them. And now that I've cut off these investments over here, uh, <laughs> the balance is gone, right? So it was never about this two of cups. It was never about this love. This was a distorted love energy. Um, it was never about the light. And so he's seeing the light come out in all of these areas now that he actually has to be forced to be in a brute force and that's not his natural nature is to be that brute and that controlling but i almost feel that destiny is calling him to have that kind of brute force so that he can walk away that's eight, from entrapment it's not the eight of cups that i definitely felt the eight of cups there and um so that he can overcome and win this because everything's failing and so if he doesn't he feel it's almost like a liver let die liver <laughs> liver let die i don't know what song that is but liver let die is that a song i don't know but that's coming up too liver let die literally it's a rock song it's old 
need my rock, but it's definitely something like that. Okay, let's take a look and see what's transitioning here in this light self because it all has to do with the Divine Feminine. All of it has to do with Divine Feminine is being talked about right now from this Divine Masculine. Um, we have the Six of Cups. So everyone's talking about the past. This Masculine could be talking about the past. Talk about the Divine Feminine here. Offering this cup of love to the Divine Feminine and moving forward. So this Masculine is not keeping secrets anymore. If you felt the Divine Masculine is keeping secrets, Everybody in his life know about the Divine Feminine at this time, okay? He's saying she's my life partner. I'm moving towards this. I see the light. So he's being really overly controlling. Here we go. Balance. This balance is with the Divine Feminine. Do you see how this balance card came out almost right where, you know, this uh, energy is coming up here? Um, death to the old life partner. His balance is with the Divine Feminine. King of Cups, his heart is with the Divine Feminine here, okay? He's definitely moving into a light space here. Mm. Devil energy, look at this. He's having to deal with now. Okay, trying to line this up as much as possible as I did on this side but it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, I wanna keep the two of pentacles here. So he's definitely moving into, let's put these up here. We have the three of swords. Okay, the devil energy and the wheel, okay. So recognizing that he may still have some certain um, energies here as he moves forward that he's not fully clear of, but he's ending the brunt of it over here, okay? But realizing that his pain is still gonna have to heal when he comes towards Divine Feminine, he's not fully healed, and he knows that fate or God is going to help him heal whatever he was unable to do. It's just like he's just gotta get out from this situation in order to move. Sorry, I'm just gonna fix this. So that in order for him to completely move towards divine feminine here tell me about this devil let's see about the shadow with his devil what is this devil here but he's still gonna have to heal when he comes with divine feminine it's a balancing that he's doing that he knows that he's going to be able to balance it because she's his person that he couldn't do that with this person he's seen the light over here that he has to just end it over here yeah the wheel wow guys the wheel that he couldn't do it car with karmic energy right? He couldn't do that with karmic energy. Um, he could only do it with his divine feminine. We have the wheel here in both instances, and he's realizing that this wheel is turning now for him and his divine feminine for marriage. This is a sacred marriage for union. So this masculine is definitely moving forward here, temperance to heal this connection, okay? That's his, his goal. This is where he's definitely moving towards. So he's like looking at union energies, He's seeing it. He's gone within. He's been thinking about this. He knows that the Divine Feminine may be in the Queen of Swords energy right now because of this abandonment, right? That um, she may not be receptive to it, but he's definitely looking at that, that he, if he ends the old, right? If he ends the old, that maybe that block with that Two of Swords can be alleviated. Maybe instead of running in parallel with each other, they can make a decision and come together and see things clearly now. And this rebirth, right? He knows he has to take his time. He can't rush coming in like he did before. He knows that her guard may definitely be up here, but he knows that she's been healing from her pain. Okay. And he doesn't want to not give this a chance because of the past. He doesn't want this to end, okay, um, because of the past. But he knows that he has to completely end the past. And so he's purposely not coming forward to make sure that that is completely dealt with. And he's hoping that when he moves towards Divine Feminine, even though he may have some toxicity here, King of Pentacles, he's going to be poor, he's going to be broke, he may not have the money, or the finances, but he's hoping that in this holy marriage, they can heal these aspects 
wouldn't be so difficult to heal with his divine feminine yet yeah, the sun because he knows the divine feminine will help him see the sun in his darkness see how he's like his there's a crown here that he knows that even though in his death you know where everything is dying that when he comes towards divine feminine he'll be able to build again because the wheel will turn in his favor for his with him and his divine feminine because it's it's holy it's guided so he's not worrying too much about the healing that needs to happen when he comes towards divine feminine he knows that he's still going to have to heal but he feels that the divine feminine is so exalted that she's done so much of this work that it's not going to be a problem for her to handle because she's handled it all to this point where karmic energies couldn't handle him at all see the sun exactly <laughs> that you can balance the two aspects of the sun here um yeah i don't know i feel like that that's pretty much it um let's see but I, I feel like it was just a positive nice little positive note that this is where the masculine's at he's seeing the cosmic mirror he's seeing who lights him up in his darkness he's recognizing what that is now um nine of pentacles he could be single right now as he's ending things. And six of pentacles. And he's giving himself a shot here at being single, of dealing and healing the brunt of things before he comes forward here. Yeah. I'm not really getting anything else, guys. Let's see what else Amasco would like to say. That's all I'm really getting in this reading. It's a short, sweet reading. So let's take a look. God did not let me get away from mistreating you. Trust me, every pain, every tear I cried, not because I was hurt, but because I was awakened to the pain that I caused you and our sacred union. Wow. So he felt everything the divine feminine felt. If you want to know if he felt it, he felt it. And it's how he knew that this was true, right? It's how he knew that this was his divine feminine and how deep his love went for his divine feminine and how he's ending this now and he wants to come into union now, okay? Our love is magic. It's what songs and poems are written about. I love you. I'm in the process of ending karma. Breakups, fighting, financial issues are being resolved. I know we are mirrored souls. I know we were created as one. I suffer as much as you do. I'm just better at hiding it. Even hiding is getting hard. What else for this last one? I'm seriously working on healing my the addictions in my life. And that's that devil energy. I don't think it's going to be fully healed when he comes, but I feel like he knows that there's going to be points in the divine feminine's healing energy. Like the divine feminine is very healed, that he's going to be able to heal with her. How do we both have control issues? We mirror it exactly. So he knows that whatever dark that he brings forward, um, that that's going to be reciprocal with the divine feminine energy. I'm done with old energy. I'm burning it down. It's the only way to make room for my queen. And this one wants to come out. Please trust that I'm making a plan and I will be coming home to you. Do your work and I will do mine. God is great. We will meet again in the future. So he's definitely planning for the future, guys. Let's get um, some romance angels and that will be your reading. All right. Short and sweet, this one. I kind of like this one. So yeah, this masculine wants to give this relationship a chance. Okay. Let your friends help you. They may be helping him get out of tricky situations in the past as he ends things. He's definitely moving towards Divine Feminine. Very soon he's moving towards Divine Feminine. Maybe getting a message soon. A flirty message maybe coming in. Okay. Um, he's freeing himself um, probably from dealing with children or someone who's very childish. There's a lot of chemistry here, but he's also being cautious, paying attention to the uh, red flags. This could be the one where love life is ascending to a higher level. All right. That was your reading, guys. So much love. Bye.